Hey, Steve Coomer here. I wanted to talk about some novel ways you could rig a straight worm. Um, it's called various names. Um, this one is um, a Vic Coomer fish stick. Um, pretty similar to a Cinco, I guess. And um, anyway, there's some really cool ways you can rig this. That um, Just watch and I'll show you some I bet you haven't seen before. One thing you can do I raided my granddaughter's crafts and got a bunch of these little rubber bands. And these little rubber bands to me are twice as nice as the rings that they tell you to use on this kind of worm. And the reason is I don't need one of those tools. Take, take the rubber band, double it over two fingers, stick the worm in there, let go. That's tough, that's never coming off there. Yep, it's a wacky rig worm. Now, for some of the cool stuff. So, I've, it, it, I've got all these little lure parts. I've always been crazy about making lures and tinkering with lures, and I've got some pretty cool stuff, I think. Um, one thing I wanted to use, see this little screw eye? You know, if you're making a wooden plug, it goes up in the wooden plug and then you crimp it on your split ring. Well, you can really modify your worm to do something awesome with one of these. Take your scissors, flatten the end of that worm just a little tiny bit. Take that screw eye and just screw her right in. You can buy little screw locks that do this, but hey, I got hundreds of these and they really work well. Look what happens there, people. Isn't that slick? Now when your worms, you're working your worm along the bottom, it's got that flashy dancing tail. A lot of times that works spectacular. Something else you can do, we we'll go back to our worm rigged under rubber band. And I'm going to show you how to make a, a, a Nico rig that I think is way cooler than the average Nico rig. And the way I do it is, Take a wood screw and some washers. If you slide the washers over the wood screw, let's flatten the end of our worm just a little bit again. Screw that wood screw up inside our worm. Now you're thinking, yeah, that's just like an eco rig, but no, it's not. Because now you can vary the weight on there. You can put different washers, and every time that hits, those washers are clanking against each other and making noise. So it, it's an adjustable Nico rig, adjustable weight, makes all kinds of noise. That screw is never coming out of there. It's easy to put together with the rubber band. Awesome, awesome rig in my opinion. Let's get some more worms out of here. So I've got this little gadget right here in my lure part box. And if I remember right, this open thing goes through something like one of these metal bills and then your lure can work freely on the end of that. But anyway, you can get these from any lure parts place for nearly nothing. And what I did with that was I took that open end, which you can see that, see that open end right there? And I crimped that on our rubber band just like that. And then on the other end, 
split ring swivel and a little blade. Do like we did before. Double over our rubber band. Yep. Double over our rubber band. Shove through our worm. Let it go. Let's take our hook off of our eco rig. Back under the band. Now we've got to wet if everyone on the lake is wacky rigging their worm. Ours looks completely different now. You pull it, you know, the worm's doing its normal going back and forth. But then this is fluttering along behind. Gives you a completely different look. On the fall, this is fluttering ahead as, as the worm's doing its business. Another neat way to do it. And then one more. Everybody knows me, knows I'm a smallmouth nut. So, take a jig head here, take our scissors, snip. I guess you can see this coming. We have got a dirt cheap Ned rig. It looks awesome. Now there's all kinds of ways you could modify this stuff, you know. Our worm in the end there. No reason you couldn't snip that off. Put him on there. Look at what a neat little whiz bang you got there. You know that's going to catch some smallmouth. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed my strange little video on stuff you could do with straight worms and lure parts. See ya.